welcome to the tutorial series on TIPCO. Here I would give a walkthrough on consuming web servers in TIPCO and develop a main process-to-process -process booking request using core process activity. A child process is invoked dynamically based on the request received which invokes the web service using SOAP request reply. And finally, refactor process using flow filters. You can visit my blog post, the link is given in the video description below. In this post, I explained the steps in detail. Let's jump into a demo. We would process a booking request message. Add a process definition then drag and drop file pull up pass XML and remove file activities. And pass XML is bound to booking request XML reference. In order to call a child process from main process, let's define a child process and create a simple transition from start to end and starter activity is bound to booking request. Come back to main process, then bring in a call process and configure the child process in process name. Now, let's add service wisdom reference for the services which needs to invoke. Add wisdom and then provide wisdom in copy from URL and click on copy from URL. Note service related schemas needs to be generated and add to the project. Reconfigure the input and output with dual messages. Once the required whistles have generated, 
Now from main process pass the booking request to child and modify the child process to invoke the service using SOAP request reply activity, which is configured to invoke a booking service. The service response is bound to end activity of child process. Let's run and test the project. From test to tap, run the project and load specific process to be executed. Process is triggered once the booking request is received and main process calls in child to invoke the service and the response is rendered back to main process. Child process can be tested separately by creating a job for it from test to tap. Now define another child process to invoke hotel booking service. Is the service responses of both the child processes are different? Let's standardize the responses to common format by defining a booking response schema and binding it to both the end activities of child processes.
in the main process bring in write to log activity and log the response output of the called process. Configure the process name dynamic override property of call process activity. Test the project and process different service type. Instead of calling process dynamically, we would develop another process that invokes either cab or hotel service based on filtering on the transitions. Map the response based on the SOAP request to reply output node is shown. Reconfigure the process name and remove the dynamic override option in call process activity.
Test the project and process different service type. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again.